Hello, everyone, and welcome. Um, again, a lot of uh, requests coming in to walk through the process of assigning things for our students inside of HMH1 assessments. Okay, so I'm going to walk through uh, the first step uh, of, of that here today in just a moment. But what I want to kind of point out is that there are differences between pushing out digital assessments that live inside of Think Central and the ones that we have available to us inside of HMH1 assessments. So let me first start by saying here I am at my homepage. I'm in Journeys. Uh, specifically right now, and it almost doesn't matter, you'll see in a moment which grade level you're in. Once we get inside of HMH1 assessments, you're gonna have the option to select your grade level anyways. Okay, but if I tab over, you are going to see the exact same icon, program assessments, HMH1 assessments. I can push out uh, assignments and assessments that match the paper version for journeys. I can do all of that right on Think Central, and I believe there are other videos uh, on YouTube that kind of walk you through that. What I'm going to find inside of HMH1 assessments are all of the digitalized versions of my standards-based assessments only. Okay, so um, when I click here, I'm essentially, I've already made the choice that I want to see the standard-based assessments and I want to push those out digitally to my students. So uh, locate on your carousel HMH1 assessments. Go ahead and click on that, and you'll notice that you have what appears to be a you know a completely different window from Think Central. Okay, um, you do have a little getting started here that points your attention to the toolbox icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Um, you can also click on the uh, the question mark anywhere that you see it throughout the process, so to speak, um, for, for help or support along the way. You've got assessments, okay? Uh, you've got reports, you've got testing events. You know, we'll kind of push some of that to the side for now. In this first video, I'm gonna just kind of walk through how do I push out an assessment as is. I don't wanna make any changes. I just wanna give it to my students as is. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to click on the, uh, the, the title bar at the top for assessments. Doesn't really matter where I click. I can click on the arrow or the name itself. And keep in mind, if you haven't given any assessments yet, you might not see anything on this page. Obviously, I've you know worked with this a number of times, so I, I see a laundry list of, of different assessments and things. Um, but once you click on that assessment tile, you'll see a what looks like a funnel in the top left-hand corner. I want you to go ahead and click that and you'll see the little pop-out here um, of options that you have for looking for assessments and things. Um, most of you are just going to be selecting probably Journey 17, the national version. Um, I'm going to walk through, I typically choose like a grade three or four for my example. So. I'm gonna specifically choose Journey 17 and Grade 4, and I'm gonna do a quick search, okay? You'll quickly realize search results uh, came back with 30 hits, okay? All of my standards-based weekly tests for each week of instruction, pretty much gonna go right down the line here. Lessons one through, um, 30, okay, all of them are going to have 10 items, okay, I have all 30 of them top to bottom from the beginning of unit one to the end of unit six, okay, uh, if you're unsure, at the beginning of the video I talked about how I can give assessments as is on Think Central, or I could come to HMH1 and give the standardized, uh, standards-based, excuse me, weekly tests. If you're unsure about how those are different, 
you could always preview the quiz first. So I'm gonna click on the preview button and you'll quickly notice, I'll talk uh, very briefly here, whatever your skill was for lesson one, for that week of instruction, you're going to be assessing in these standards-based weekly tests, you're gonna be assessing the same skill and strategy, but you'll see here, I have a completely different and fresh text because I want to assess how my students have learned that skill and are applying it with a brand new text. So whatever my students read, for example, in that week of instruction inside of their student book, I'm pushing that uh, uh, to the side essentially, and I'm giving them a completely different text to read. And then I'm gonna ask them to answer questions based on this new text. We wanna test that application. Okay, so I can, by clicking on the preview button, I can preview it first. And again, in this first video, I'm just walking through, pushing it out to my students. So once I've previewed it, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click assign, and you'll see somewhat of a similar window to what you get inside of Think Central. You do need to give it a name, you do need to pick your start and end dates, okay? Um, you'll then need to select your class. Once you select your class, underneath you'll see the listing of all of the students, okay? I can just very quickly do a select all if all of them are going to get it, or I can clear that list and choose individually any of the students that I want to have that assignment as well. Again, this portion, pretty similar to what you see um, inside of Think Central. Okay, once I've made my selection, I can um, type any additional directions that I want my students to have. Uh, if you open the settings option, that would be where you'd turn on or off the ability for students to pause their assessment, you know, leave the computer for a couple hours, days, whatever it might be, and come back to it at some point, or you can leave that uh, turned off. And then the last step very simply would be assigning and pushing this out to students. So I'll click assign, and you should have the green success box in the top right hand corner if you've done that successfully okay in the next video i will walk through how i might make changes to or add questions to one of these assessments so join us there if you would thanks everyone Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the HMH International Content Cares YouTube channel. If you're looking for more content, click on the video to the right of your screen. Welcome to our global community.